Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to try a new lash technology from Lashify. They came out with a new lash band using what they call Griptex technology. So that's what I'm going to try in today's video. As far as I'm concerned, the Style Extra is the only one that has this new lash band technology. So I went ahead and got the E11 and it's called E11 Squared. And the style extra is very, it's very extra. It's dramatic, it's voluminous, it's bold, but it is beautiful. So let me show a close up of what this new lash band looks like. Although you can find really great photos and videos on their website and things like that. Okay, hopefully it's picking up on camera, but this is the lash band here and it has like little ridges on it. So it's ridge, 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 ridge. Again, you can find really great videos and photos online on their website and stuff, but just kind of wanted to show you guys in this video as well. The claim behind this new lash band is that it's supposed to help with longevity as well as be more comfortable. And I don't know too much about it since I don't follow any groups or anything like that, but my assumption is because of the ridges, it kind of weaves in between your natural lashes. So therefore it has better hold and adhesion to your natural lashes. I don't know if you know more about it, definitely let me know why this is supposed to help with longevity but we're gonna put it to the test in today's video i'm going to be using the lashify double-sided whisper light glue and i'm gonna start off with the micro mascara wand here and dab some of that glue along the base of my natural lashes like so and now i'm going to grab the clear side of the glue with the brush and i'm going to swipe some of that glue onto the top of the lash band that's my cat by the way I don't know what she sees or what she wants. Okay, so I have a little bit of glue on the lash band as well. This is double bonding and it just gives you a better hold in general. And it's something that I usually do whenever I apply lashes as it is. And I watched a video on their Lashify page or their Instagram page. They recommend coming in and kind of scooping them under. So you want to make sure that the lash band touches your natural lashes first. And then kind of scoop it onto your lashes. I don't know if that makes sense. So you're coming in. They have a really great video on their Instagram. Highly recommend watching. I'm assuming because this way the little ridges can go in between your natural lashes and kind of like weave through them, I guess. So that is one cluster. Now I'm gonna grab the next one and basically repeat the steps. All right, and once you have them on, you just go in, pinch everything together to fuse it to your natural lashes. Just making sure they're not too far away from the root of my natural lashes and there's no gap. I really like this size, 11 millimeters. I do wish I grabbed a 12 to maybe add a 12 to like the outer corner for a bit of a cat eye, but I love this length. When it comes to super voluminous lashes, I prefer shorter sizes because I feel like it's not as intense on my eye shape in particular. My eyes are a bit more deep set and my brow bone is pretty prominent and I do have smaller eyes. So I don't want to make them look more sunken in by using like super dramatic, really long lashes. But this I feel like works pretty, pretty well for my eyes. But I'm going to go ahead and do this eye off camera and then I'll show you guys the full finished look and then we'll also do a wear test to see how long these last. Here is the end result with both eyes done. I've always loved the ease, especially in these new odd sizes. I'm so glad they came out with them. I'm gonna go ahead and do a wear test for these. So today is Wednesday, January 7th. Just so you guys don't think that I'm lying. Usually I'll wear lashes for about five to seven days. So I'm interested to see how these are gonna hold up, especially because they are volume lashes. So I'll keep you guys posted. Hey guys, I look kind of crazy. A little puffy from the morning and I don't have any makeup on other than lip gloss, but I wanted to check in on how the lashes are holding up. It is Monday, January 15th. My daughter's using my phone, but I just wanted to show you guys the date right here. So it's Monday, January 15th. I applied these on Wednesday, January 10th. I said, I don't know what I said, but the date was wrong because I was editing the video. Um, so it's been six days. It has not been a full week yet, but I did lose a lash cluster. Like I woke up and this lash cluster was gone. I have no idea where it is, which is kind of sad because I am planning to reuse these. I actually really love this lash style on me. Like I feel like the ease in 11 millimeters is my lash style. Like I, the more I wore them, I was just like, wow, these look so good. I love them. They're the perfect length for me and Martin for my eye shape in particular but this one did come off and then this edge outer edge right here you can see it's kind of starting to lift which by days five 
six like for me that's normal especially since this is a volume lash usually the outer edges will lift or something so i wouldn't say that these have better longevity than other lashes that i have tried but with that said i do like this new lash band probably more than their other lash bands like i like the concept of little ridges and how it might weave through your own natural lashes i don't know it's just it's cool, I like it, I feel like it has a lot of potential. I'm really excited to see what other lash styles they come out with, or maybe they'll just revamp all their other lash styles with this new Grip Tax technology. So even though I personally didn't experience better longevity with this new lash band or anything different, I do like this new technology and I would try these. And if you have smaller eyes like I do that are more deeper set, I would highly recommend trying the E11s. If you like more of like a voluminous Russian volume lash, it's like not too intense. It's like the perfect amount of intense. I don't know, I look kind of crazy right now. But that kind of completes my video and the wear test. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thank you guys for watching and hope to see you guys in future videos. Mm -hmm.